collapse of crypto exchange FTX, the company's founder, Sam Bankman-Fried, gave millions to groups supporting candidates on both sides of the aisle. The crypto entrepreneur made about $40 million in political donations in the 2022 election cycle. And now, as a result, he faces a number of campaign finance violations, including allegedly making contributions under other people's names. Bankman Freed is currently under house arrest while awaiting trial on charges of fraud. For more on this, I'm joined by CBS News political reporter Aaron Navarro. Aaron, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jeff. All right, so what kind of campaign finance violations is he facing in addition to all these other problems he has? Yeah, so the main one is the one you mentioned, the straw donor scheme, where, as you said, he allegedly made donations under other people's names, and that's the main one being investigated by the U.S. attorney in the Southern District of New York. The consequence there, obviously, is jail time for Bankman Freed if he is found guilty, but for the candidates and committees that got as low as $2,800 from him or as much as $6 million from him, they have to make sure that money is ready for when the federal government says they need to give that back to FTX so they can give that back to the customers if mm. Bankman Freed is found guilty. So committees have already told CBS News they've put that money to the side because they're preparing for guidance from the Department of Justice if that happens. So they're getting ready for that consequence. And the other thing to watch here is that there is a, a Federal Election Commission complaint against Bankman, Bankman Freed because of an interview he gave in November where mm. basically he said he made a bunch of um, donations to Republicans that he kept dark so that re reporters would not find out about that. And while there are loopholes in the campaign finance system to do that, uh, there's a complaint saying that he explicit because he explicitly said it was to benefit people politically, that he violated and it could be subject to a fine there. Uh, all right. So, and I think I know the answer to this, but yeah. spell this out for me and our, our viewers here. What, how does he, how can he or how could he have benefited from making those kinds of donations to people on both sides of the aisle. Yeah, so in the months leading up to this big story of this investigation, you would see politicians on both sides of the aisle either A, try and tamp down any federal investigations maybe done by the SEC into cryptocurrency or introduce bills to kind of loosen some of the cryptocurrency laws and rules. And in fact, you saw the National Republican Congressional Committee, uh, Tom Emmer, who was the chair of that at the time, he actually uh, instituted this cycle, cryptocurrency being used for political donations. So there was uh, an openness from some members of Congress to cryptocurrency before this investigation. We'll see if that will continue you into the next session. Mm, and so the other question I have is, could, could this incident, for lack of a better sure. term, but could this case lead to some sort of calls for campaign finance reform? I mean, how many times have we heard that? But could it lead to changes? So the same groups that have been clamoring for those reforms have already pointed to this as the latest example. They note that this scheme, um, we'll see what the federal invest investigation shows, but is one of the biggest campaign finance donation schemes in modern history. So given the just the scope and the, the largeness of it, it could result in some reforms, but at the same time, it's hard to see because both parties, frankly, benefit from this system right now, from dark money contributions. So it's hard to see a clear path from both sides, especially with the split Congress, to create any meaningful reform right now. All right. Well, I'm sure you'll keep following that for us. Aaron Navarro, CBS News political reporter. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me.